Okay. I don't know about you, but I am very ready for some vegan meal prep. Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you everything that I meal prepped for this week. I'm actually not someone who meal preps very often if at all but I'm currently trying to get myself into the habit of doing so and thought that this video would be a perfect place to start. So yeah in today's video I'm just going to be sharing with you a handful of really simple recipes that I have meal prepped for the week ahead. Obviously this isn't going to be everything that I eat in a week but I thought that I would share with you some really simple ideas of things that you can make ahead of time and keep for yourself throughout the week if you are someone who is short on time. Anyway that is enough of me let's get into the food. This is a week of vegan meal prep and I hope you enjoy. So as you may know by now, I very much so enjoy making plant-based milk at home and today I decided to make almond milk. To do so, I first of all started by soaking some almonds in boiling water for 15 minutes and then I put them into a Vitamix with some pink salt, vanilla, dates and water and all of the full measurements will be down in the description box below for all of today's recipes if you do want to try them at home. So I blended this together and then I got a nut milk bag and put it into a big jar and then squeezed all of that almond milk through uh, and then I quickly cleaned this up and put it into the fridge and this can keep for up to three days in the fridge. You also may know that I love a peanut butter and cacao smoothie and one of the best things to do with smoothies in my opinion is to always make sure you freeze your bananas beforehand because it just gives it the best texture. So I usually will freeze a whole box if I can get a hand, my hands on a full box but today I couldn't so I just froze a bunch of bananas for the week ahead. Then I also made myself a blend of all of the powders that I like to put in my smoothie just for efficiency throughout the week. So in a bowl I put cacao powder, maca powder, vanilla protein powder and pink salt and I just stirred this together until it was nice and well combined and then after this I just put it into a jar to keep throughout the week. This isn't something that you necessarily have to do but I've actually found it really beneficial this week having done so uh, just because it helps with not having as many dishes to do. So when I go for making my smoothie I start with some ice as well as some frozen bananas and then my homemade almond milk. After that I added in a couple of tablespoons of the uh, like powder blend that I made and then I also added in some peanut butter before putting the lid on and blending it all together. This is my favorite smoothie because it keeps me really full, makes me feel really nourished and honestly it's just very very delicious. So I definitely recommend giving it a go at home if you haven't already and you'll have to let me know if you like it. I'm pretty new to the world of gluten-free baking but I decided to try my hand at making some gluten-free banana bread and it turned out very well. So I first of all started by mashing some bananas in a bowl and then I also added in some maple syrup as well as vanilla. After that I then also added in a flax egg and I mixed this all together until it was nice and well combined. Then I also added in some buckwheat flour as well as some rice flour and baking soda and then and after that I tried to mix it together but it was way too dry so I added in some soy milk but you could use any plant-based milk that you like. After this I then decided to add in some walnuts for some extra crunch so I put these into the bowl and then mixed it together nice and well. This recipe is also refined sugar free and yeah like I said I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out so hopefully you will like it as well. I then chopped up some more almonds to put on top and then I sprinkled a little bit of pink salt and I baked this in the oven. All of the baking directions again will be down in the description box below if you do want to try it at home. The thing I like about banana bread is the fact that I can have it for breakfast and I can also have it as a snack and yeah I have really enjoyed this. A nourish bowl is one of my favorite things to eat throughout the week and so I first of all started by cutting up a couple of big sweet potatoes into like 
cube kind of size pieces they're actually not cubes at all but hopefully that makes sense uh, i put them into a bowl with some oil as well as pepper salt garlic powder onion powder and smoked paprika and i mix this all together before putting it onto a lined baking tray and then yeah i put this into the oven and roasted them up i like roasting sweet potatoes in advance because then i feel like it's just super easy and makes making lunch or dinner way less time consuming so once i got these out of the oven i very simply put them into a container once they had cooled down a little bit and then i put this into the fridge to store and eat throughout the week so when it comes to plating my nourish bowl I very simply all I have to do is cut up some lettuce and then I put on top the sweet potato as well as some avocado and then I very simply just fried up some tempeh to go with this and then I drizzled it with this herby cashew cream this is another thing that you can make in advance throughout the week and I first of all started by soaking some cashews in boiling water before putting them into a Vitamix then I got some fresh herbs from my garden so I added in some coriander parsley dill and then i also added in some chives then i added pink salt as well as some black pepper and then of course i added onion powder and garlic powder as well as nutritional yeast would it be a me sauce without those three ingredients probably not i added in some lemon as well as water and then i blended this together until it was really nice and smooth you'll probably have to leave it to blend for a little while to get it to the right consistency so once it was all done i very simply put it into a jar put a lid on top and then i stored this in the fridge for about like four to five days i find that it lasts um, and keeps well and so yeah that was my very delicious nourish bowl and something that i've been able to eat throughout the week and i very simply Simply just put some hemp seeds on top. Once again, I decided to challenge myself to some gluten-free baking and I decided to make some almond butter cookies. So I first of all started by putting some almond butter into a bowl with some maple syrup as well as coconut sugar. And then I also added in vanilla and a flax egg. I mixed this together until it was nice and smooth before adding in some rice flour as well as some buckwheat flour and some baking soda. Then I also added in a pinch of pink salt as well as some cacao powder and I mixed this together until it was nice and well combined. It does take a little bit of time to get it all mixed nice and well. Then I baked these in the oven and when they came out, they were like these cute little <laughs> cookie bites and I actually flew through these. These are probably my favorite recipe from this whole video. They're really nice and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and super delicious. I have been loving a soup this winter here in Australia and especially loving pumpkin soup. So I first of all started by cutting up a pumpkin into again cube sized pieces if we can call them that and put them onto a baking tray and just drizzled them with a little bit of oil. I baked these in the oven till they were really nice and gooey and soft and then at the same time I also boiled up a head of cauliflower uh, just in some boiling water over the stove. Once these were all done and they were nice and and cool I started making my soup so I started with some pumpkin as well as cauliflower and then I also added in a whole heap of coconut cream then I added in some pink salt as well as garlic powder onion powder then I added in like some veggie stock as well as smoked paprika and super simply I just blended this up until it was really nice and smooth this pumpkin and cauliflower will make you like a lot of pumpkin and cauliflower and it will probably make you like two to three batches of this soup if you base it off the amount that I roasted and prepared just so you know so yeah once I'm ready to enjoy this soup throughout the week I very simply heat it over the stove and then I like to top it with some crispy chickpeas as well as some fresh chives from the garden crispy chickpeas are something that i also really like to prepare throughout the week just because it's super easy to do them in bulk so i very simply in a bowl just put a can of chickpeas that i had drained with some salt and pepper and a little bit of oil i put it onto a baking tray and then i baked this in the oven for like 15 minutes until they were nice and crispy and they keep really well in the fridge and they're just a perfect topper for soup or avo toast or any Anything like that just to give you a little bit of extra nourishment 
Okay, so I know tahini is not for everyone and honestly it used to not be for me, but I have found that making this tahini spread slash dressing has made me really enjoy the taste of tahini. So in a bowl, I started with some tahini as well as the juice of a lemon. Then I added in some maple syrup as well as some pink salt. And I mix this all together. If it's a little bit too thick, depending on the type of tahini that you have, I recommend adding water until you get this nice smooth consistency. I then, again, very simply put this into a jar and I store it in the fridge for like four to five days and it keeps really well. Something that I love having for breakfast is some gluten-free bread. This is a sun-dried tomato and basil bread and it's so good and I love just putting some tahini spread on top with some avocado and it gives it heaps of extra flavor and is a really great way to start the day. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, so that is everything that I meal prepped for the week. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy the recipes. If you do decide to make any of them at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can check them out and see your creations and repost on my stories and all of that beautiful stuff. As always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it and I appreciate you so very much. I will see you very soon for another video, but until then, I hope you have a beautiful day or week or whatever it is. I hope it's beautiful. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Bye!